Hi, my name is Andrew Kingsbury. I'm an Extension School student and I uh, work for a startup called Quibble. Uh, our CEO actually worked at Bridgewater. Uh, but my question is, where would you peg uh, the percent, uh, percentage-wise uh, the potential for recession in the United States? I know you took out a uh, pretty big European short position, uh, so specifically the United States. Yeah, let me comment that um, any positions that are it's a good example of reported in the media or whatever it is, um, can easily be misinterpreted. And I think that if you were to take that, I won't comment on our positions, but I'm just saying don't read, too, don't read anything into that because you'll probably mis be misled by it. Um, and, but I, I would say that the probability of a recession um, prior to the next election um, is presidential election. I, I think very low in terms of, I don't think we're going to have uh, a recession anytime. Soon. I think we're not even in a bubble stage yet. I think we're in a pre-bubble stage that could go into a bubble stage because of this thing that then could be followed by a bus phase. And so that in that last phase of the cycle would be my guess. And I would say that the probability of a recession in um, prior to the next presidential election would be uh, relatively high. What would I say? I don't know, 70% or something like that? 70% even though we're not yet at a bubble phase. So that's two and a half years to 70% chance that within two and a half years we get to the bubble, through the bubble, to the bust. Right. So, and, and I can't say if it's 70, 60, in the odds favor that what, uh, what you would do is at, at, um, usually um, it's about what, before it hits the financial markets, it's about after it hits the financial markets, it's a, about 14 months and, and it varies in terms of that because that produces the squeeze and that, that notion. So as I start, as you work back from there, and I think that there, my, my, my own notion is we're at the later stages, but not um, at that bubble stage. And so I'm not, I can't be precise, but I would say a pretty good chance that around then uh, that we would have a, a recession. And I'm, and I, I don't want to say I'm scared about a recession, and I'm scared about a recession uh, mostly because. There are these two economies that exist. Uh, 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 in other words, I, I, I did a piece, um, it's on our website or, or on LinkedIn, that breaks the economy into two economies, the top 40%, the bottom 60%, what's the majority of those like, and so on. And I, I have another sort of principle. Um, if there's a big difference between, um, let's say, rich and poor, and you share a budget. So you have to divide, discuss how the pie is divided. And you have an economic downturn. You have conflict. You have argument. You have an emotional. And so I would say that that's why I'm more worried about an, an economic downturn and, and think that monetary policy should be more asymmetric uh, because I think, you know, if, okay, supposing we had a 2.5% inflation rate or a 3% inflation rate, okay, that's not the best. I mean, you, you don't want to have a bubble and, and that it's, it's going to bust, um, but it shouldn't have an, that's not, we're all not going to be crying about that. That will not be the thing. So I think there's asymmetric, and I think also the asymmetry having to do with monetary policy, how much you can lower interest rates, how effective QE is in the next dosage, and those kinds of things are things that are concerns to me. 